Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Asifiwe tena. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. You are worthy, you are mighty, you are wonderful, you are glorious. We thank you for the grace to be here, my Father. We thank you you preserved us throughout the week, my God. Thank you for each and every soul that has come to partake of the bread of life, O oh Lord. We pray may your spirit flow, may your revelation flow, and may these teachings, my Father, be written in our hearts, O oh Lord. Yes. Father, every spirit of confusion, the devil, the schemer, who may want to steal that which you've purposed, we should take home, my Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind him, and we decree and declare he has no power over the church, he has no power over your word, he has no power to take that which my father you want us to bring home. In the name of Jesus Lord, I pray for those who are heavy hearted, I pray for those who are broken hearted, I pray my father for those who have come with the issues of life my father, for in your house they will find favor, in your house they will find a lifting, in your house they will find hope. In the name of Jesus, I do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. May you be seated. Last week, tulikuwa tunajifunza mambo na kunazo itikadi. Oh. <laughs> Dorothy, umefika. You are late. You are late. Sasa mpaka next time. Panesu asifiwe. Tulikuwa tunajifunza mambo na itikadi za uongo za wokovu ina maana kwamba kuna wokovu wa ukweli na pia kuna ule mambo ambayo unaweza kuwa unakaa ndani ukifikiria kwamba kweli umeokoka lakini tukifanya uchunguzi especially from the scripture tutagundua kwamba mambo ambayo umekuwa ukifanya ni mambo yako tu we have many philosophies outside here many arguments outside here about uh, salvation but for us we should draw from the Bible and to get the apt meaning of the word salvation. And the last two weeks we've been talking about salvation. I wasn't here the, the other Sunday, but Niliambio uh, Kwamba will land on the source of salvation. Now, you can agree with me, Kwamba, source of salvation ni Mwenyezi, ni Yesu Christo. Wanesu asifiwe. Wanesu asifiwe. Haya ndio mafunzo ambayo tulikuwa tumefunza ile jumapili iliyokuwa nyingine ya kwamba chanzo cha wokovu ni Yesu Kristo. Na hivyo basi nataka utembee nami gu moja ama gu mosi gu pili hadi uh, kwa yale mafunzo ambayo tulikuwa nayo jumapili iliyoisha. Na yalikuwa kuhusu itikadi ya uongo ya nini? Ya wokovu. Na hivyo basi kuna mambo kadha kadha ambao tulikuwa tunayataja ambao tulikuwa tuna single out kusema kwamba pengine watu wamekuwa wakiishi ndani ya dhana hizo wakifikiri ya kwamba huu ndio ukovu lakini tuliweza kusema kuhusu masomo bwana Yesu asifiwe kuna watu ambao wanafikiri ya kwamba wakiwa ndani ya masomo basi wameokoka tumeona maprofesa wengi wamesoma theology wamekuja na lot of philosophies ambazo hata zinachanganya lot of doctrines na watu wameamini ya kwamba kama kuna mtu anaamini ya kwamba ukienda bible school basi umepata Yesu ukienda bible school basi utaenda mbinguni mimi sikatai kwenda bible school is good it's good to learn and get knowledge lakini above all the best knowledge you can have ya kwanza ni Yesu Kristo bwana Yesu asifiwe tuwe na Yesu ndipo sa mambo mengine ya father bible says seek ye first his kingdom and its righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto thee wanaeswa sifiwe so education is so much good masomo ni mazuri lakini masomo bila yesu inakuwa ni bure 
So, kuna watu ambao nikapeana mfano kuna watu walikuwa wanasoma kuhusu siari unaambiwa kwamba leo hii ukikutana 20 bob imepotea njiani unaokota upeleke wapi so kuna watu ile siari ambao walisoma primary na high school bado wanasema kwamba mimi bora nilikaa tu kwa klasi ya siari i am saved bwana yesu asifiwe it takes more than sitting in a siari class it takes more than sitting in a lecture hall for you to be saved number two, we talked about church membership nakumbusha tu wale ambao hawakuwa na sisi Church membership ni ya kwamba jinsi ambavyo umekuja kanisani we ni mmoja wapo wa ili kanisa na kuna wenzetu ambao pengine wanakuja kanisani na hawajajua ni nini kilichowaleta kilichowaleta kanisani maybe mtu ameambiwa tu na ndugu yake kwamba twendeni kanisa na anaoga vizuri anavaa anaamka anaenda kanisani lakini ndani ya moyo wake hajakutana na Yesu Kristo it is good to be a church member but i said last sunday kwamba if you are a church member and a heaven and, and you are not a heaven member then you have missed the point when it was fewer for you to be an acquainted church member first of all be an acquainted heaven member when it was fewer kuna wengi ambao wanaenda kanisani lakini siku ya mwisho you will not see them in heaven because they believe by going to church then you've gone to, you, you have received salvation apana it doesn't work that way so ukiwa mwana SDA mwana Catholic mwana True Light mwana wapi mwana wapi mwana wapi lazima uite kwanza mwana wa Yesu Kristo bwana Yesu asifiwe ukishaitwa mwana wa Yesu Kristo be a member of Jesus ndiposa haya mambo mengine ya kusema kwamba mimi ni wa True Light wa wapi na wapi yaweze kuwa mema kwako number 3 we talked about good works hivyo vifungu tulikuwa tunapeana so kama una notes you can borrow from your neighbor because of time we talked of good works na tukawa tunaongea kuhusu jamaa alikuwa anaitwa nani who can remember wala walikuwa class last sunday you talked about a man he was called cornelius bwana yesu asifiwe ukisoma acts chapter 10 kuanzia mwanzo hapo you get an encounter kuhusu cornelius bila inasema kwamba alikuwa mtu wa maombi na alikuwa mtu wa kupeana but uh, in a vision Mungu alikuja kwake na akamwambia kwamba go and ask ask for Peter aje katika nyumba. At the same time pia Peter alikuwa na maono ya kwamba Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hivyo basi wana watu walikuja wanakutana na Yesu Kristo. Verse 47 Biblia inasema kwamba Peter anauliza mmepata mmepata kubatizwa. Nini naoziwa kwamba msibatizwe na huyo Roho Mtakatifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That means huyu jamaa alikuwa anafanya mambo mazuri. Anapeana kuna watu wanapeana michango kanisani, harambe wanapeana rent wanalipa. Haya mambo yote lakini the center the epicenter ya mambo yote inafaa ikuwe Yesu. Kabla uanze kupeana kwanza jipeane. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Before you begin giving, first give yourself to Christ. Jipeane kwanza. That should be the formula. Lakini what we are doing is tunapeana kabla tujipeane. Good works. Number number 4 we talked about baptism, wokovu. Na nikapeana mfano kuna watu ambao wanaamini mambo mengi, kuna a lot of philosophies around a a a a a ubatizo. Kuna watu wanaamini ya kwamba ukienda mtoni uingizwe na umevaa nguo za white bus mambo yako ni sawa. Na wengine wanakataa wanasema lazima pasta akuje na maji hapa kwa madhabahu ya besheni akuoshe manake ile maji imewekwa water guard ni safi inaosha dhambi. Tukienda mtoni wanasema kwamba ile maji imetoka juu ni chafu kwa hivyo hakuna kitu wanafanya ni uchafu tu bado ni dha. So there are a lot of philosophies bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtu anasema kwamba mimi niliingizwa kwa maji kwa hivyo mambo yangu yako sawa. Mimi nili batizwa kwenye madhabahu mambo yangu yako sawa. Wengine wakasema kwamba nilikuwa nasema kwamba wengine wanaasha moto wanaruka juu ya moto. Wanasema kwamba nimebatizwa na Roho Mtakatifu. And by mistake unaruka juu ya moto unaanguka ndani ya moto inakuchoma kidogo. So I don't know. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There are a lot of mysteries ambazo watu wameleta kuhusiana na ubatizo. But zaidi ya yote, zaidi ya yote ni ya kwamba kutana na Yesu Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Vile unabatizwa shauri yako lakini pia be careful usiashiwe moto unaruka na hujai ruka kwa maisha yako you will you will jump into the fire na utachomeka hapo hakutakuwa na the fourth man wa, kama Shadrach Meshach and Abednego no that, is, that will not be an Nebuchadnezzar fire itakuwa ni moto wa kijinga ambao umewashwa uanguke uingie na utachomeka Mungu hata kuja kuokoa hapo 
So let us have wisdom in some of these things. Then uh, number five, to kuhusu kuhusu proper environment. And uh, we were reading the, in, in the book of Acts chapter 8. Nikapeana mfano wa jamaa alikuwa naitwa nani? Those who were active in class. Philip the Ethiopian eunuch. Philip the Ethiopian eunuch. Ilikuwa Acts chapter 8 from verse 26. Not Philip. Alikuwa encounter ya Philip na the Ethiopian eunuch. Na ukisoma, unapata kwamba this guy was a businessman. Baneso asifiwe. Alikuwa treasurer. He was a senior man. Na when you read, wakati anamalizana ku encounter na Philip, Biblia inasema there were servants around him. He had a good environment. Na wakati Philip anakuja kwa his chariot, the Bible says Philip anampata akisoma mambo ambayo alikuwa ameandikwa na Nabii Isaya kwamba like a lamb he was taken in the wilderness to be done what to be slaughtered. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndipo sasa Philip anamuuliza, "Je, haya mambo unasoma unaelewa?" The Ethiopian one akasema, "How can I understand?" He had a good environment, the environment of the word. The environment of people who are serving around him he was a big man, a serious man in the society. Lakini there was something about his salvation. After there, Philip anakuja na mfafanulia haya maneno. Then, yeye mwenye out of conviction anawana kidimbu cha maja, anawuliza Philip mbona, nini kina nizuia kubatizu? Paneso wazifiwe. So, you can be in a good environment, lakini if this word, ya salvation, ya kuwa revealed unto you, au utaenda minguni. Uneza kuwa unaishi state house, haimanishi utaenda minguni. Uneza kuwa unakuja unalala hapa kanisani kwa madhabao, unambia mchugaji hii wiki mimi ni unalala kanisani ni kiomba. But if you have not received Jesus, siku yesu watakuja hautaenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We also talked kukakuwa na mfano pia wa Adam and Eve in Eden. They were in a good environment. Eden means the presence of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But can, can you imagine the devil even comes in the presence of God. Shetani alikuja kuwajaribu in a good environment. You know, people expect that when you are in church, mutu wasi kujaribu. And you know, what we get with such a notion, ya kwamba, watu wanakuja wananza kusengenyana. Is it not a good environment? It is a good environment. But now, how comes watu wananza kusengenyana? Wananza kusikia huyu, 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 huyu. Watu wanataka kushikana mata. Inside the church. is a good environment. But we spoke careful. Chetani atakuja kuzui ya ili usiende wapi? Binguni. So as much as... Sisi tumependa kuita Yesu wakati uko in a bad environment. Wakati una job ndo unaita Yesu. Wakati hujapata wife wa kuoa ndo unaita Yesu. Wakati vitu vimeenda mrama, job inaisha unaita Yesu. But when you are in a good environment you forget about him like Adam and Eve. They forgot until the devil had to come and steal them out of the presence of God. So be careful where you are. If the environment ni mzuri, pia kumbuka mambo ya nini? Ya wokovu. The next one tukao tunasoma mambo ya kuweka sheria. I remember, we also read Romans 8, verse 1. The Bible says, Therefore there is no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit has separated us from the law of, de from the law of sin and death. But there are laws ambazo watu wamejiekea. Kuna sheria zingine potovu ambazo wanadamu na wakristo wakisasa wamejiekea. Ambazo zimewafunga na ufunua. There is now condemnation. Paul anasema there is no condemnation. Lakini kuna sheria ambazo ukijiweka nani there is still a condemnation. The accuser will stand. Ambaye ni shetani. Aseme huyu zindi muwana mali. And the, the, the heavens will agree. Because you are under a law of condemnation. Nikawa na peana mifani kisema kwamba kuna watu wanaamini ya kwamba lazima afunge kitamba cha wai takienda kanisani. Kama hana kitamba wa hizi ingia kanisani. That's a law. But can kitamba ya wai take you to heaven? It cannot. Kuna wazi wa manamini ya kwamba usipova three-piece suit usingie kanisani. Ni vizuri kuwa na three-piece suit lakini kabla uvai three-piece suit, vaa three-piece suit ya wokovu. Number one. Then di uvai ya mavazi. Wanesu wa sifiwe. So, kuna sheria zingine ambazo tume, tumejificha ndani. Nyingi muna zijua. Amuja, you've not been born in this church. Kuna church ambazo mulitoka ndani before you came here. And you know these laws are there. Na nipotovu. Hata bishops wanatembea wengine na mikuwa jokubwa kubwa. We don't refuse that. Wengine wanajita Moses. Na mikuwajo. Na tukofia. Bwanesu wa sifiwe. 
atukatai by the i really respect them i'm not i'm not i'm not against any man of god na spigani vita vyote na mtumishi yote however you dress or but first of all kuwa na hii sheria ya ukovu the law of the spirit let it set you free from the law of sin and death tukao tunaongea mambo na kuwa confirmed na religion and we also talked of a man called nicodemus another thing ambayo watu wamejificha ndani confirmation na religion we mambo ya nicodemus katika john chapter 3 from verse 1 tukao tunaongea na uja tunasemezana kuhusu jamaa anaitwa nicodemus and i'm surprised mbona alienda tu kwa yesu usiku that means mambo yake alikuwa yakigizagiza he was a teacher of the law but anamwenda yesu wakati gani usiku he was confirmed by the religion as a teacher of the law but why does he have to visit jesus in the night do you want to mean jesus was so busy in the day that ange kwa na time na nicodemus if jesus had time with the with the blind but myers during daytime he had time with many other people inakuwaje huyu jamaa anaamua kuja usiku kumuona yesu and look at how he comes to jesus anamwambia kwamba rabbi rabbi he is learned anajua huyu ni mwalimu mwenzake anamwambia kwamba no one can do the things that do except god be with him na yesu anamwambia yesu naye anamchallenge anakuja anamwambia kwamba nicodemus nisikize utaenda katika ufalme wa mbinguni unless uzaliwe mara ya lakini nicodemus na mambo yake ya kidini haya anakuja kusema mimi na huu ndevu zangu hizi nitaendaje nitarudi aje katika tumbo ndio Yesu anamfunulia mambo anamwambia hapana you must be born of the spirit na baptized also by water bwana Yesu asifiwe so being confirmed ya kwamba wewe ni mkristo you know christianity is a religion wewe kuitwa mkristo haimaanishi unaenda mbinguni wewe kuitwa muislamu haimaanishi unaenda mbinguni it is more than that bwana Yesu asifiwe we have many christians but we have very few saved christians tuna wakristo wengi lakini tuna wakristo wachache ambao wameokoka so wewe kwa confirmed with a certain religion dini ya msambwa ya elija ya shakahola yote hiyo haimaanishi unaenda mbinguni dini ya kwanza ni ya wokovu heaven has no religion by the way bingu haina religion tulikuwa katika fellowship jana and our father was challenging us do you mean tukienda mbinguni watakuwa wanasema SDA Saturday muende mkaombe haya wengine Sunday muende mkaombe waislamu Friday do you think god is not confused first corinthians it am on second 14 1414 that all things must be done in what in order so is a god of order bwana yesu asifiwe haitakuwa ni hawa siku yao hapana kama ni kuabudu sisi wote tunaabudu Now. Uh, Utanipea soft strings kindly. Ofadhali. Masomo ya leo. Tunako tunaendelea kutokana pale ambapo tuliachia last week. Nilikuwa nafanya recap so that uh, wale ambao haokuwa last week wakaacha up, si ndio? Wajue pale ambapo tulikuwa but nimefanya tu paraphrasing sijaenda into so much uh, details now h okay mimi nimeandika h namba ngapi wala naandika numbers mimi niandika eh number 8 living by the golden rule living by the golden rule kwa kiswahili sijui nitatafsiri namna gani golden rule is a mischief rule another meaning i tried to search about it and i came to learn that golden rule ya maisha ni kwamba you treat people the way you want them to treat you bwana yesu asifiwe kuna watu ambao wanaishi you are very careful usimkosee mtu na pia ungependa mtu asifanye namna gani asikosee and it's very good by the it's very human fanya hivyo lakini hiyo peke yake haitoshi it is not enough it is not enough kuna watu wanaogopa hata kuua mbu because the commandment said do not kill they are very kind hata akiona mbu anasema hapana wewe ni ume tunyonya damu utapata wapi chakula usiponi 
They are very kind. The golden rule of life. Kuna mtu hata ukimshika matai hapa umtingize umpige slaps left right and center umweke upside down hata kufanyia kitu atakwambia tu pole ndugu na akae chini Because anajaribu ku demonstrate a golden ya kwamba how you are treating me sio vizuri mimi sija kupiga sija repulse sija reciprocate Bwana Yesu asifiwe So unanifanyia mabaya but I want to show you the better side of humanity It is good to be human it is good to portray humanity. But your humanity, Bila Yesu, humanity needs divinity. Humanity minus divinity, there is no salvation. But divinity, yeah, thank you. Divinity plus humanity removes the equation of carnality. Now, humanity without divinity equals to carnality. Wala wali yogopa esabu, tumerudi esabu. Wali mo esabu. Musianza kuniambia hapa ni wapi? <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So utu bila uwepo wa kimbingu ni bure. Hiyo ndio kitu najaribu kusema. Lazima tuwe na kwanza utu wa kimbingu. Ndiposa tuwe na utu wa kidunia. Jesus came as a spirit. Born of a woman. Alianza na utu wa kimbingu. Angekuja tu in flesh form bila kuwa spirit form Yesu angefanya a lot of mistakes. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So tunahitaji kuwa kwanza with divine divine is it, can I call divine humanity ama namna gani? I don't know. Divine relationship. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndiposa mmeelewa your golden rule of life. Eh? Nikikuzaba Yesu anasema ukizaba unafanya namna gani? Unapeana the other side. Ah, kweli mnaweza. Useme tu kweli. Kuna mtu hata jana umetoka tu kutusiana kwa plot. <laughs> kwa maji. Unajua jana nisikia kuchota maji. <laughs> Ati umenipita, umenipita. Ume kuja na vibuyu 20. Si uchote moja, moja, moja. Anasema pana, lazima ni maeleza zangu zote. Na watu wanalimana kwa tapu ya maji. Alafu yo jamaa, kesho watu wanakuja. Wanaona umekuja fellowship kwa kwa. Anasema kweli ameokoka kweli. Juzi ya mentusi kwa tapu. Wanaomba tena until he speaks in tongues. Golden rule of life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> yes. Hiyo makofi hata mtoto wako wa CBC akiitwa graduation ame graduate utampigia makofi kama hiyo Mbona mnadhalilisha baba yetu mnataka kusema ja graduate CBC is far above than that is far above than that Bwana Yesu asifiwe now you can do better can you clap for him Bwana Yesu asifiwe if you are happy and you know clap your hands if you are happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you are happy and you know, flip your fingers. If you are happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you are happy and you know, do them all. Aya, 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 aya. Tuende kwa number two. Amba number nine yako. Sincerity. Sincerity. Sincerity na mambo nakuwa mtu wa ukweli Honesty Clean, pure You are honest, you are genuine Mtu wa ukweli Mayo na mtu hata Haizi kudanganya Lakini simu ileta uongo Sayu kipigia mtu wajafika na likuwa nakuja church Pengine hata wajaoga Wakipigia na kuambia no nimepanda gari naku Na wajaoga but kuna mtu ambayo yuko so much sincere ukimpigia na kuambia kweli bado na lala lakini naku hata kudanganya bado na lala lakini naku there are people who are very much sincere hata mkiwa kazini munafanya kazi naone ukora inafanyika anayenda kwa mkubwa na wambia boss 
kuna mahali sijaona mambo yakiwa mazuri ni sincere because anajua eventually shida itakuja kupatikana na watakuwa someone waanze kuulizwa what happened who did this na hata akiwa someone baada atasimama mbele ya hao watu waseme no niliona ni ebe <laughs> tukiwa kazi watu kama hao wanaitwa wasali <laughs> wasaliti shuleni kulikuwa na watu kama hao high school wasaliti high school na kumbuka na walikuwa wanapigwa akienda preps akiruda anapata kitanda amemwagiwa maji analala ndani ya <laughs> walikuwa wanaitwa watu wa vierehere kwa nisa zifiwe noise makers anaandika hata kama si prefect anaandika ndio mwalimu akikuja anasema no teacher ni huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu they are honest si ndio kuna watu kama hao kanisani they are honest si vierehere by the they are honest it is honesty hawezi kubali kuona mabaya kifanyika hawezi na hata akiulizwa atasema everything from a to b hata kama ni mambo ya siri atasema wazi hiyo haiqualify wewe kuenda mbinguni as much as tunataka watu wakuwe honest kwanza Kenya yetu imeoza sana sana hata makanisani tumeoza pia na ndio maana tunamwibia Mungu hata kwa matoleo we are not honest kwa Yesu asifiwe lakini that one alone is not enough to take you to heaven Be honest by giving yourself to Christ first. Hiyo ndio true honesty. Kuwa mkweli kwa kujipa kwa kujipa kwa Yesu Kristo. Kwanza Romans 12 verse 2 inamaliza ikisema kwamba Nisaidie Romans 12 verse 2 tafadhali. Sijui ni KJV ama NIV na peana the version I want but jaribu let us see KJV. Romans 12:2 Umepata? Mimi si. Hebu nipatie KJV kuna kitu na natafuta There is a version sasa season mbili There is a version wewe inasema for this is the act of worship you can give yourself to God Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sikumbuki ni version gani Mambo na transformation but in the end inasema this is an act of worship perfect will present yourself give yourself that's what you're only saying ya kwamba you must be honest paul anasema jipeane give yourself but you cannot give yourself if you are not first honest na mambo ya ukovu kuna watu wako so much honesty in the in in in, in the event that now they are dishonest to salvation sijui kama mtu ananipata wewe ni mkweli mpaka unakuja kuwa muongo kwa wokovu. You've been so much honest kwa wanadamu na vitu vingine vyote. Lakini kwa wokovu you are cheating salvation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are so much truthful until mambo na wokovu sasa wokovu ikikuja kuangelesha wewe unakuwa muongo kwa wokovu unaidanganya. Si ukuja na kuita hapana next week. Maiona mtu wako na deni yako nataka kulipa. Hapana next week. Hapana next week sijapata mpaka nakubluti ana nini ana block so some people are in that state We're so much honest to the world lakini kwa ukovu inakuita umeenda crusades wapi hata hapa kanisani wahubiri wanahubiri wanaita watu altar call kuja wako wake unasema no ngoja nishikilie kwanza ngoja ni you are cheating salvation kwa nisa zifiwe amen kuna kitu inaitwa lodge membership l o d j e lodge membership Lodge membership ni mambo na kuna hizi cult groups watu wako ndani from hata shakahola imekuwa cult tu jimeua watu the blood has been shed mambo na freemasons illuminati nini na pia kuna kuna, kuna lodge membership in churches bwana yesu asifiwe we have lodge membership in churches kuna watu kuna hii inaitwa interfaith council of kenya kuna watu wako pale they are members of that interfaith council of kenya but they have not received 
salvation. Paka umepewa some of them wako na IDs, wana kuprintia ID jina yako mwaka ulizaliwa na nini na nini. It's good. It's good to be a member. But now, to kuja kwa salvation hauna ID, umefika 18 years but you don't have an ID of salvation. You see, in Kenya, ukifika 18 kwa operate bila ID na kuwa ngu. So even in heaven, the ID of heaven is salvation. So kuna watu huko 30, 40 na una ID bado. Una, una, una panga kwa, ebu liza jirani yako, una, una panga kwa apply lini. Uduma center, mpaka zimeletwa branches karibu na mali unaishi. Uduma center za miguni zimeletwa. Uduma center ni makanisa yani. Bwanesu wazifiwe. Zimeletwa. Bado utaki kuenda. Na ni free. ID ni free application. Uyo ID ya miguni pia ni free. Hata ya Kenya ni free. So utasikai vukua mtu mkubwa katika ukovu lini. Mpaka lini. Be a large member of the kingdom of God. Hey, O Kristo wanaita fungu la sufuri. Atutoi. Biblia inaita fungu la kumi. The Bible says Matthew 23:23. Who unto you scribes and ona vile inaanza. Who unto you scribes and Pharisees? Hypocrites. For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have have omitted the weightier matter. Eh? The weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. This ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Wameacha the weightier matter. Meale mambo ya uzi? They are giving tithes. Kabla wanze kutoa fungulako la kumi kanisani. There is what we call weightier matters of the kingdom. And the most weightier matter of the kingdom ni wako? Mambo mazito ya ufalme. Ni wakovu. Turudi ya anze tena. Who aren't to use scribes and fari... Unafikiria mafarisa wa alisha na siku za yesu? Yeah? I'm trying to get... Ama kuna mafarisayo hapa. Wafarisayo hao kuhisha na siku za Yesu. That's why we are reading this Bible today. If it was only for Pharisees and scribes, basi ingebake na Pharisees and scribes, this is so Tungekua with another version of the Bible. But the Bible says these things are written for your learning. So, who unto you, sasa weka hapo jina yako, tunasoma, who unto you, tena jina yako ujui, Yomani mesema bado kuna mafarisayo. Who unto you? For you pay tithe of mint, anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the kingdom. Tuendele. Mkiweka jina hako ndi utasikia umstari na kuguza zasa. You know, it steps you. The law, mtu wakikuambia mamba na judgment. That means, at the end of this life, when the curtain is rolled, kutakuwa na uku, you have omitted judgment. But if you want not to omit judgment, what do you do? You become saved. You've omitted the law. Tumaongea mambo Romans 8.1, the law of, of the spirit, which sets you from the law of death and what? Sin. So are you seeing the things the Pharisees have neglected? Mercy. It's by mercy we are, we are, we are done what? We receive salvation. It's by faith we receive salvation. By grace. Haya mambo yote tumeacha. They are undone. All these things, eh? law, judgment, mercy, faith, they are just synonyms of salvation. Yesu anatumia haya manene yote ku break down what salvation is. So anaambia hao watu mumeacha mambo ya ukovu. 
na mna peana fungu lenu la ku nipe 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 Luke 18:12 Luke 18:12 Media Luke 18:12 Unajua kuna nyimbo zingine tulikuwa tunaimba kitambo hata kama mnasema ni size ko ziko ziko analog but those songs had so much power people will sing and they will come to Jesus I remember a song ilikuwa inaimba ewe msafiri wa safari ya mbinguni ebu angalia kama kweli utayari kuanza safari kuelekea mbinguni kuelekea makao yetu ya milele imani hilo tumesoma mambo ya faith hilo ndilo gari wokovu hiyo ndiyo tiketi 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 kituoni ni pale msalabani na njia yetu ni bwa tuimbe imani baba imani hilo Kilo ndilo gari wokovu hiyo ndiyo tiketi 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 kituoni ni pale msalabani na njia yetu sote tutayari tuko hapa kituoni kwa tayari kwa you know I'm already minister naweza achia hapa we sing this song and bless So te tutayari tuko hapa kituoni gari letu limekwishakuwa tayari mkaguzi ni Yesu Kristo ndio mkaguzi anakagua tiketi kama una tiketi jua ndugu yangu taachwa simple, simple songs ancient songs by they brought people to Christ na inama tunainuka tukisema wewe ni bwana na watu waende mbinguni wana inama wakiinuka endelea <laughs> tu kuinama ukiinuka utainama hivi Yesu apite uinuke watu wameenda mbinguni <laughs> you might laugh but these things are happening watu wana inama kabisa makanisa na tukatai kuinama is good sana a posture of worship but you had that song when it was few umesikia hiyo wimbo sote tutayari tuko hapa kituoni gari letu limekushakuwa tayari mkaguzi anakagua tiketi kama una tiketi jua ndugu yangu ta na tuimbe imani baba imani Hilo ndilo gari wokovu hiyo ndiyo tiketi 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 kituoni ni pale msalabani na njia yetu ni na tuimbe imani baba imani Tiketi tiketi kituoni ni pale msalabani na njia yetu ni Bwana Yesu. Mbona hata mimi nikwana lo kidogo? Nikwana lo kidogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So these songs are good. I pray the church choir praise and worship team one day will bless us with such songs. Tuache kungangana na nyimbo za Nigeria sana. Ni nzuri. Ni nzuri. Ni nzuri. From the rising of the sun. Ni sawa, they are good songs. To the setting of the sun. Your name is to be hallowed. But before your name is hallowed, imani. Anza na hiyo. Anza na hiyo. Hiyo ndio step 1. Hiyo ndio step 1. Now ukifika from the rising of the sun it means that you have crossed you are now saved. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah. 
Nini? <laughs> so, that's hiyo ndio class teaching. Sitaki watu walale. Mhm. Ulikuwa umenipa Luke 18 verse 12. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Who was this speaking? Tuendelee kidogo. And the publican standing afar off will not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast. His posture was this one. Smote upon his breast. Unaona huyu jamaa alikuwa anainama anainuka. Akati alinuka alipata uko. Yesu alikuwa anaongea mambo ambayo nimekuwa nikisema. Now look. And the publican standing afar off will not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. Conviction dhambi ilikuwa ina hukumu bwana yesu asifiwe but these two people were praying mmoja alikuwa hypocrite farisi anainua akisema kwamba i pray twice a week i give tithes of all i possess but look at the other guy anasema kwamba and the publican standing afar will not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven but smote upon his breast saying god be merciful to me i'm a sinner have we not read about mercy so I've said all these words are just but salvation. Be merciful to me as a sinner. This guy was not giving tithes. He was not praying twice a week. But he got a conviction. Alienda kanisani kuomba. Na anambia mungu, have mercy to me. Lakini angalia uyamani mfarisayo. Anajua sheria vizu. He knows the law. He gives. He prays twice. But look at the difference. What did Jesus say? Next. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be done what? Exalted. So the only way to humble yourself is through salvation. That's what Jesus is saying. This man was humble. Alipeana hii posture. Si ile kuinama tunainama na kuinuka ya uongo, unainama Yesu anapita unainuka walienda. Not that one. Ye ali inama kwa ukweli, laki inuka kakutana na ye? Na yesu. So have you seen? Matoleo tu peke yake fungula kumi. Atusemi muyache kutoa, toeni. Na wala wajianza kutoa muanze. Lakini onapo anza, anza na imani. Toa fungu kumi, fungu lako la kumi la nini? La okovu. Patia yesu kuanza. He needs a tenth of your salvation. Only that. And the next Hebrews 7 8. Mambo ya Melchizedek. Hebrews 7 8. Afadali media. Hebrews 7 8. Thank you. And here, men that die receive. Excuse And here, men that die receive tithes. But there he receiveth them. Of whom it is, win- it is witnessed that he liveth. And here, men that die receive tithes. Wale wana kufa, wana pokea nini? Fungu la kumi. See, I think pastor ananda kufa. No, I'm not saying that. Don't misinterpret me. But there, but there he receiveth them. Of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. Whom it is wit- Yule ambaye ameonekana yaani anashuhudia kwamba anaishi unashuhudiaje anaishi ni katika njia ya kufanya namna gani kupokea wokovu it's more than giving tithes if you give only tithes i don't have jesus you will die and even those who receive will also die because it's their priestly duty to give you salvation before they receive that's what the bible is saying kuna wachungaji ambao wanapokea fungu la 10 wanasisitiza kila siku but the souls are dying that's what it's saying and here men that die receive tithes so this to us priests and ministers of God. All of us are ministers. Go ye and preach unto the world. Aku anangelea evangelist. He was speaking to the whole church. So you can be receiving tithes, giving tithes, but you will die because there is a duty you've neglected. Na hii duty ni akufanya nini? Kuleta watu katika Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So this should help somebody already. Next secular organization ilikuwa number 10 hiyo tumemalizana na number 10 secular organizations 
kuna UN United Nations hata UDA pia ni ni secular organization UDA Azimio gani nyingine mnajua hata maandamano pia ni organizations ndio eh si watu wanaungana wanakuwa na leader anasema ria na huko pia tiaga zinajibu ra those are organizations they are good for your spirit and your body <laughs> no for your body not your spirit they are good for your body but you are not careful you will die bwana yesu asifiwe so, kuna watu katika makundi ambao ni ya kidunia and they have given so much their life everything they have wamepeana katika ile maku those things will, you can be new and inalipa vizuri yes but kama hauna yesu analipa vizuri zaidi makundi ya dunia analipa vizuri lakini yesu analipa vizuri zaidi that's the difference hiyo tu imetosha kukubadilisha maandamano sinalipa ukipewa 500 uende maandamano sinalipa yes umelipwa lakini yesu akikuita anakulipa zaidi ya 100 tano kwa mwanasiasa wa UDA inalipa ukienda pale kuna some tokens you get it's good they give you but there's a, a token giver who is Jesus oh i tell you huyu jamaa akikwambia akiamua kukupatia he gives you with all his heart bwana yesu asifiwe hiyo wanasiasa wanakupatia as a way of kukushika they are giving you ni kama mtego so that you do for them but yesu akikupatia akupati like a payback no bwana yesu asifiwe So being in secular organizations kuna wengine katika makundi ya kiu ya kuimba hata praise and worship is an organization choir is an organization you know kuna choirs naimba nyimbo za injili lakini hawa jamaa hawajaokoka they are there kuna choirs jasema hapa so praise and worship i'm not at you kuna watu wanaimba choir nilikuwa naona huko nyumbani kwetu choirs za district choirs user nini za pro paka wanakuja paka nationals is an organization wewe ni mtu tuseme wewe ni mtu wa catholic lakini unakuwa post there's a ina, inaitwa choir ya, let's say western western region kwa so they post guys who can sing from church to church wanaweka pamoja do you want to tell me all these guys are saved so being even a member of a choir wanajiita choir mpaka wanaimba vizuri wanapata awards but there's an award they are missing a word of salvation imani hilo ndilo gari wokovu hiyo ndiyo tiketi kituoni ni pale msalabani na njia yetu ni bwana yesu first timothy 4:1 kuna watu umeona hata ile wanajeshi wanajeshi kuna ile un peace keeping missions wamekuwa kienda mpaka sudan Somalia wapi Bwana Yesu asifiwe they are good organizations kuna watu wako katika good organizations ambazo pengine is, 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 kuna watu wako red cross nini wengine ni bado ni scout hata mimi nilikuwa scout but do you know hata after shule bado unaweza kuwa member of scout is a good thing people are in these things peace keeping things hmm? wengine katika organizations za kwa advice it's good consultants all these things are good but before you go into them have him who is the best organization first bwana yesu asifiwe now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils the spirit speaketh expressly some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devils do you know some of this you know these, these secular organizations can be a way the devil is using to induce doctrines ambazo hata ukiingia kama umeokoka bado zinakurudisha nyu i used to hear lakini like, i don't know if it's confirmed right i used to hear as much as mambo yao ni mazuri wanasaidia watu i used to hear But you see unaweza ingia pala and they tell you for you to rise to a kind of a manager ama nini nini ama supervisor ama nini kuna kitu fulani au mwaoka na pengine ukiangalia kwenye uchumi imekurafa unasema hivi nataka ikicheo 
applied itself in a person, bora ni siku babu, and they produce you na yaba ya mama, and you are safe. Wanaisa sufiyo? Yes, you are safe. Kuna makundi pengine ukiingia wanasema hata tukate damu kidogo as a sign that you are one of us. Wanaisa sufiyo? Even though na handa unaibio, your blood has been shed. Blood is life. So we have to be careful. Wanaisa sufiyo? Each organization, hata kampuni yako, if your company is made, if you are not so much strong in faith, my friend, you are not Resign from your job. You are not spirit. You are not resign. You are not resign. Yes, you are not resign. You resign. But if you are powerful, then pray. Change people. Be refined. But you are do Do deliverance. You are not Yes. When I give up, I get five organizations uh, on a connect, on a connect house guns. When I'm back, uh, as Saudi Arabia, I'm happy now. They are good, but sometimes you mislead people and they're not wow. And you are a Christian, you're not going to But you kill somebody, somebody's blood in either general or mine. I know you don't want to hear this, but I'm speaking. Wengine hata hapa Kenya au kazi mnapeana unapeana msichana mtu kwa jamaa anaenda kumtumia vibaya. It's not good. Badilika. Kijua ile kitu unafanya na haisaidii wachana na. Sasa ndio ile wachana na. Kwa nature spirit. So these things as much as we want money. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Na pia the Bible says money answers all solutions. All problems. So you have to be careful. Finally, oh, leo ni kwa time. Thank you, God. Religious organizations. Is it really finally? Yes, finally, religious organizations. I think I've talked about these little organizations, didn't you? Mutaenda usome Revelation 17. I've talked so much in depth. These things are celebrated. I want us to rise on our feet. The organizations. Taka tusimame. Taka praise and worship team waje. Or, mbaya kama bado mnasimama, is there somebody, mwalimu anawulizanga, kuna mtu anasuali? Kufikia mahali tumefika. We talked on the source of salvation. Sahi tumekua tukiongelea on the false doctrines of salvation. Kuna mtu wanaamini akioleka kwa bibi ya pasta, akioleka kwa pasta ya ya meoko? Aya, kuna vijana nao wanaamini ukideti jama anajua kuomba basi umokoka. Kuna wengine tumepeleka watoto wetu kwa shule ambazo ziko sponsored na kanisa. Sponsored by Church of God in East Africa, Kenya. Sponsored by the, 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 the diocese Jew of what, Marcelo, what and what. Sasa unasema mtoto wangu ameokoka is in a Christian school because sponsored na kanisa. Education. Uongo. Ombea mtoto wako okovu. Is there anybody having a question? Kuna mtu ana swali. Fikia mahali tumefika. Pengine huku elewa. We are learning. Ama mimi niulize sasa. Eh? Niulize. Haya sawa praise and worship tuje. Nataka munisaidie kuimba hiyo wimbo ya imani. Yeah, leo tumeenda local church, analog church, but it's helping. And as they are singing, I want to ask on a serious note.